All right, my first graders, today we are on page 93 in our Go Math book. So find your page 93, then hit play. All right, today we are used doing some more with comparison. Okay, we're just showing another way to compare. Okay, so we can compare things like how tall to short, we can uh, compare colors together. So let's take a look at our problem for today. There are nine brown dogs. There are five bowls. How many more dogs need a bowl? So hmm, let's look at that. We have nine brown dogs. There are five bowls. So we're going to draw our bowls right underneath. One, two, three, four, five. There's five bowls. How many more dogs need a bowl? So when we're hearing problems like that, how many more, how many less, how many fewer, those are comparison, okay? We're comparing. So or we're finding the difference and difference means subtraction. So here's our five bowls. So one way we can compare is we can match the dog to his bowl. So one dog, one bowl. See what I'm doing? Giving the dogs a bowl until I have no bowls left. Okay, now that we drew a line from a, each dog to a bowl, look how many dogs do not have a, do have a bowl. So how many more dogs need a bowl? These guys need a bowl, don't they? Right? We couldn't connect them to anything. So one, two, three, four. Four more dogs need a bowl. Okay? So we're comparing the dogs to the bowl. We're finding the difference. Okay? Let's look at the white dogs. We're going to do another problem. There are seven white dogs. There are eight bowls. How many bowls are not needed? So again, we're, this is another comparison. So here are our seven white dogs. There are eight bowls. So let's make our eight bowls. Okay, we need to see how many aren't needed. So let's compare them. Let's draw a line from one to the other. Match up your dogs and your eight bowls until you have, oh. uh-oh. How many bowls are not needed? That one, right? One bowl is not needed because we don't have any more dogs. So we have one more ball, bowl than we do dog, okay? So we're comparing, finding out how many more how many less? Those are finding the difference problems, right? Difference means subtraction. All right, let's turn our page. Compare the groups. Subtract to find out how many fewer and how many more. So when we're finding out how many fewer and how many more or how many less, those are comparing, right? We're finding the difference. And that means we subtract, okay? So let's take a look at our top picture. We have 10 minus seven. There's 10 bird nests and seven birds. How many fewer birds are there? Well, we match them up, right? How many fewer birds are there? There are three fewer birds. I'm sorry, three fewer birds, because there's what? There's three less. When we compare, we're finding the difference. The difference is three. So we can say there's three fewer birds, or we can say there's three more nests than birds. Okay, seven minus three. Okay, that's also a might. There are also subtraction problems. We could have started with our ten nests minus, right? We always subtract the smaller number, so we would cross those off and see how many are left. So remember, subtraction is big number, take away a small number. So let's look at, at this. 
six minus four. Blank more nests. Well, we have to find the difference. How many nests are left over? How many more do we have? Match them up. All right, so here they are. We match them up to the four birds. Or we take the four away. How many are left? Two, so six minus four is two, or two more nests are left. Okay, so now let's look at this one. Eight minus five, right? So we're matching them up, or really we're, what we're doing is subtracting, okay? So here's eight bees minus five flowers. So it says blank, fewer flowers. So let's see, we start with our big number, we cross them off one, two, three, four, five. What's left? Three. Eight minus five is three. So there's three fewer flowers left, right? We have eight more bees, which means we're missing three flowers right there. Okay. Let's look across the page. All right, I'd like you to try, I'd like you to try number two and number three. Stop at number four, okay? Try number two and number three. You're matching them up, right? We're subtracting and we're seeing how many are left, okay? So we need to find out how many more ladybugs are there and we need to see how many fewer frogs, right? How many are left? Pause and then hit play when you've finished with your answer. All right, if you're hitting play and looking at this now, it means you have answers to this one and this one. All right, let's check our work. Nine minus three. So we have nine ladybugs. We're gonna take away these three leaves. One, two, three. What's left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So nine minus three equals six, or we can say that there are six more ladybugs left. All right, 10 minus six. So we match them up. Here's our 10, le our ten uh, leaping pad, uh, lily pads, and here's our six frogs, right? If we take, take away six, we wanna see how many fewer frogs or how many more lily pads do we have left? So we match them up. Okay. What was left? Four. Ten minus six is four. So how many fewer frogs did we have? Well, we had fewer, four fewer. We were missing four frogs here, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, four lily pads without frogs. So four fewer frogs. All right. If you need to pause to fix something, you can. If not, we're going to look here at go deeper. All right, we have seven minus two. All right, so we have chipmunks, seven chipmunks minus two logs. So let's connect them up. One, two. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Seven minus two is five. All right, now look at this question. Blank more chipmunks. Well, how many more chipmunks do we have right here? Five, we had five more chipmunks. Now it says blank fewer logs. So how many logs are missing? How many fewer, less, less logs do we have? Well, that answer is also five. Right? We have five more chipmunks because the how many more and how many fewer, it's really asking the same thing. It's what's left, okay? After we match them up and we compare them, what do we have left that didn't work? What do we have left that's more? And we can also say it's also the other number is what's less, okay? What object do we have less of? So five is the same for both. We have five less. We would need five more logs to make this work, right? So we can match them all. We have five extra chipmunks right there, or five more chipmunks. All right, go deeper. 
Evie has three red markers. Oh, I'm sorry, three red marbles and four blue marbles. Kia has six marbles. How many more marbles does Eva have than Kia? All right, so let's draw this problem out. So let's start with Eva. I'm gonna put E for Eva. All right, so we need to see how many does Eva have? Well, Eva has three red marbles and four blue marbles. Let's draw that out. So first we need to draw her three red marbles. So here's our three red. But she doesn't just have three red marbles. She also has four blue marbles. So we need to draw her four more. One, two, three, four. Do I have three red and four blue? If I want, I can even add color to that. I can add three red, right? And four blue. I don't need to though. Okay, so that's Eva's markers. Now I need to look at Kia. So I'm going to put a K for Kia. It says Kia has six marbles. They don't tell us if they're red or blue. We just know she has six. So I'm going to make her six. One, two, three. All right. So we have Eva and Kia. How many more marbles does Ia have than Kia? So what we need to do is compare them, right? They ask us to compare. How many more? How many less? Comparing. So let's draw lines to match. Eva has one. Kia has one. There's another one. Ia, Eva, Kia. There's another one. Ia has one. Kia has one. Okay, do you see what I'm doing? Eva has one, Kia has one. It's like we're matching them, right? Eva and Kia until we run out. Evie and Kia. Oh, and now look, Evie has one, but Kia doesn't have anything to match to. So how many more marbles does Ia ha Evie have than Kia? Well, after we matched them up, we found she has one more marble. After we match them up, there's only, there's, she has that one extra. So she has one more marble. Okay, if you need to pause to keep fixing, you can. If not, we're gonna look at this page. It says, draw a picture to show the problem. Write a subtraction sentence that your picture shows. All right, so let's use our problem. Uh, Aki has five baseball bats and three baseballs. How many fewer baseballs does Aki have? All right, so now we can make our problem. Okay, so that it's comparing, right? How many fewer, how many less? That means we compare. So we start with our big number. What's our big number? Five and three baseballs, so what's our small number? Three, okay, now they want us to draw our picture. Well, we can draw our picture to look like this, right? Five baseball bats, there's our five baseball bats, and we can do a comparison just like we did before with three baseballs, okay? And then we can connect, right? Baseball, uh, bat and ball, bat and ball, bat and ball. How many are left? Two. Now, boys and girls, if we didn't want to draw our paper project, our picture this way, if we saw five minus three, could, could we draw it like this? One, two, three, four, five, minus three. Does that give us still the same answer? It does, we still get two. So either way, however we draw it, our answer still would be the same. So five minus three is two. So there's two fewer baseballs. All right, here's our math on the spot. Again, you can look at the video if you want. Jill has two 
more cats than she has dogs. How many fewer dogs does Jill have? So Jill has two more cats than she has dogs. How many fewer dogs does Jill have? So we can draw a picture, right? She has two more cats than she has dogs. Hmm. So we know that in the end, she's going to have two more. So it doesn't matter what we start with, right? Let's start with any number. How about five? You know, I like five, so I always start with five. So here's my five cats, right? One, two, three, four, five. If she has five cats, right? And she has two more at the end. So we know in the end, she's going to have two more. How many dogs does she have? Well, she could have one, two, three, right? Because if we put our dogs down here, we match them up. Cat, dog, cat, dog, cat, dog, right? That would leave her with two more cats. So the question is, how many fewer dogs does Jill have? So if she has two more cats, oh, this is like our chipmunk one, right? It doesn't really matter how many dogs she has. If she has two more cats, that also means she has two fewer dogs. So no matter what number we started with. We could have given her 11 cats, right? And she could have, and no matter what, our answer would still be the same, two fewer dogs. Because if she has two more cats, that would mean she would have to have two less dogs or two fewer dogs. So no matter what, our answer would still be two. I know this is a little confusing. If you want, you can take a look at the math on the spot video, okay? All right, let's look at number eight. Look at the picture. How many fewer leaves are there than ladybugs? Choose the answer, okay? So here's our answer box. One of these is the right answer, okay? Do what you need to do, right? And decide how many fewer leaves are there. All right, if you're seeing this now, if you're hitting play, that means that you're ready, you already picked your answer. All right, so remember when we're comparing, right, finding out how many fewer, how many less, how many more, so we're subtracting. So we compare, we match them up. Okay, how many are left, okay? How many do we have left? Three. So there are three fewer leaves, right? Because we said no matter what, if it could be three fewer leaves or we could say three more ladybugs, it's what's missing, right? And that would be three. All right, boys and girls, you're gonna try your personal math trainer 2.5.